Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today, I have a pretty good one for you. I have a 2006 Chevrolet Malibu. The shop has replaced the PCM with a new one from the dealer. And we have trouble with it. We get it figured out. So I'll give you the spoiler in the beginning. We get it figured out. So watch and learn. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website, toolhutusa.com. That's T-O-O-L-H-U-T-U-S-A.com. My name is Sam. Okay, let's get this party started. 2006 Chevrolet Malibu. The shop has replaced the PCM with a new one from the dealer. I sent one of my techs here to program it. He had trouble with it. Tech support didn't answer the phone. So this is a second visit. Uh, we attempted to bench program this PCM and really just uh, decided let's just go see if there's something wrong with the car or if something wrong with the computer or something wrong with AC Delco. Uh, I'll give you the spoiler in the beginning. We do, we do get it figured out and it is not a car problem. How's that for a spoiler? All right, let's get this thing. Okay, so we're gonna, because one of my techs has already been here, I'm gonna do a little bit of research on the car here before we just go ahead and try to program it. So I got tech 2 win open here. We're just gonna ID the vehicle and we're gonna do an all module scan. Like I said, this module failed during programming the first time. We took the computer out of the car and so I just want to make sure uh, the computer's not damaged, uh, make sure it communicates, all that good stuff. So I'm doing a little bit of due diligence that I don't always do when I'm doing programming. Uh, probably could or should, you know, there's a lot of discussion about that, but a lot of times I don't. Sometimes I do after the fact, but not always in the beginning, so. We're just going to, like I say, we're just going to do an all module scan. I have sped up the scan a little bit. So we could just, the Tech 2's win is kind of slow. A lot of scanners on the market, a lot faster than Tech 2 win, especially today. And you notice right away, or not right away, but probably pretty close to right away, that the PCM is a no com. So what do we do now? The old adage is, is you can't communicate with it, you can't program it. So I can't program or can't communicate with it. So can I program it? So let's grab another tool here. Let's grab the data bus diagnostics tool from GM. Like I say, this is a CAN car. So this data bus diagnostics tool should definitely work for what we're doing. And you'll notice that the powertrain control module is on the bus and it does communicate with the data bus diagnostics tool. So here's uh, GM's version of a scope on pin 6 and 14. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a scope, but I mean, it's good enough for what we're trying to do. I just wanted to make sure that everybody was on the bus. So at this point, the PCM communicates it definitely communicates on the uh, pin six and 14, just like we expected it to. The message monitor is is not on, not a option on this vehicle. So at this point, I make a decision. I am gonna go ahead and try to program this car. So let's go ahead and get the programming started and let's just see what happens when we try to program. Okay, so let's go ahead and get SPS started here. Logged into AC Delco and we're gonna get SPS going here. And we're just gonna go ahead and attempt to program this. We are still using the MDI-2, just like we're using when we use the, M 
the diagnos diagnostics bus tool. So we're just ID in the car is is an 06 Malibu with a 35 in it. So it's got the big 35 as they say. So and like I said, this is a new PCM from the dealer. I'm gonna have to type in the VIN here, so we're gonna go ahead and type in the VIN here. I've sped that up a little bit too, so you don't have to see how bad I type. I'm going to choose the PCM for the module we're programming. It tells us to do everything we've done essentially. So we're just going to hit the next button. All right, so we noticed that we got <clears throat> two choices here. If we read down at the bottom, one of them says it's for a Delphi EGR, and the other one says it's for a Siemens EGR. And the Delphi stands straight up, and the Siemens is off to the side. So, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of it. It is the Siemens EGR valve, so we're going to hit the next button. And again, I've sped this part of the process up here. So we're going to go ahead and let it do its program. I do have a maintainer on it and we are doing this properly. Doing, trying to take all the precautions we can to do this job right. And they don't always program real fast. They don't always program real slow, but they don't always program real fast. Just let it do its thing here. It has downloaded it from the internet, so it's just put it in the the PCM now. That being an 06, it's kind of one of the first years of the canned stuff, so they tend to be a little finicky sometimes. He had the sound on. If I would have recorded the sound, you would hear the infamous tink, and it says unknown error during programming event. Contact support if it continues. So one of the things you always want to do when you go to when you get an error like this is you want to get the line operation and error code for ACDALCO. So when you call AC Delco with your problem, they can help you better. So my line error and operation code are all uh, quotation marks. So I guess the next best thing to do right now is to go ahead and call AC Delco, get AC Delco on the phone and see if they can help us. Because my tech has failed and I have failed and the PCM program when I started here. So I really don't believe I've got a car problem. So stand by. Let's get a AC Delco on the phone, see if they get any suggestions. And sorry, I did not record the phone call, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so here's where you gotta make a choice when you're doing a video. I was over two hours on the phone with AC Delco. AC Delco really didn't come up with anything that was beneficial, I didn't feel. So what do you do? Well, remember when it asks us if it was a Delphi or a Siemens EGR valve? It's obvious to me, and talking to AC Delco, that it's broken on AC Delco's end or GM's end of this stuff, not my end. So it does not appear to be a car problem. It appears to be a software problem. So, against their advisement, I do program this vehicle with the Delphi EGR valve, and then I go back 
and reprogram it again with the Siemens EGR valve because that's what it's got. But where it was failing was in the process of putting the VIN in the PCM. So I do do this with Tech 2, and I unfortunately I don't have it recorded, so I can't really show you what I did. But I want you to know that it was successful, and I was it went against what AC Delco told me to do. Is that good or bad? I really don't know. Sometimes when you're doing programming, you you have to make decisions. You have to be quite a, kind of quick on your feet, and especially when you're mobile you got to make a decision to get this job done so thanks for watching the video today if you got any questions or comments leave them down below I try to answer them the best I can uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a great day